thankful once again we live in deep south Texas. This is a live video coming from one of our DHR Health weather cameras in Rochester, New York. The snow's been coming down all day long. In fact, they've been having a lot of snow in the northeastern U.S. for a number of days now. Even though the temperature's a little bit above freezing, it's still coming down big time and big uh, waves of that uh, snow across the northeastern U.S. But for us, Here's what we're going to look at this afternoon, close to 80, if not slightly above 80 degrees for some. Again, a lot of clouds out there, but despite that, we're already seeing a lot of mid and upper 70s at this hour all across the area. A little bit lower temperatures as you go further west where the clouds have been kind of holding in a little tougher. And we also had some of that fog, late fog develop after about 8 or 9 o'clock this morning. So now that's all burning off. But uh, then overnight tonight, much of the same as what we saw this morning. Now the difference is, notice these rain chances. So late uh, later on this evening, Overnight tonight, there's going to be a chance of seeing some showers and thunderstorms moving southwest, northeast once again. They could make their way into the mid valley, but notice the rain chances drop off as you go further towards the east. So I'm not expecting it really to hold together all that well, but that doesn't mean we couldn't see some leftover, some residual showers out across the area. So here's future cast going to start it off around noontime today and then notice out west. Now we do have a surface and upper air uh, level low out to cross the desert southwest that will continue to move eastward. But what's happening is, is on the wrapping around that, you get these little impulses that swing around the base of that area of low pressure and they move into South Texas and then they encounter all this moisture. So the impulses provide the lift to get this moisture to turn into some showers and thunderstorms. We saw that late last night, early this morning, and we could see that again this evening. This is about 8 o'clock moving into parts of Starry County, but notice further north, and that's where the biggest uh, amount of energy is going to be further to the north of us, and that's where the better shot is the severe weather and stronger storms will be for tonight. And then it really starts to fall apart as it moves off towards the east and that's going to mean that the rain chances while relatively high for some of us I don't expect it to be a big problem however the uh, storm prediction center does have a part of the area basically the western half of the RGV in a marginal risk for severe storms which is the low end basically isolated se severe storms are possible but they're going to be very limited in time duration and strength and Really, the main risk would be some large hail and some strong winds. Again, that would be storms mainly out towards the west in Starr County and moving northward into Jim Hogg, Brooks, and Kennedy counties, and really not looking for a whole lot of rain from these. They're going to be very fast moving, so maybe a quarter, a half an inch if you get underneath one of those heavier downpours, but otherwise not a lot. And otherwise, your wellness forecast today, Mountain Cedar on the medium side, air quality though is good. So not too bad as far as uh, respiratory issues out there for today. So 80 today, 70, uh, 67 tonight, 78 tomorrow. Thursday morning is when the next front comes through. So Wednesday night and a Thursday morning is when we have another shot at seeing some showers and storms. Once that front moves through, it doesn't really drop our temperatures all that much, but it will bring in some drier air, some lower relative humidity values for Thursday uh, afternoon, and really then sets us up for... Uh, a very dry period from Thursday afternoon all the way into next week. We'll have another significant front, at least a more significant front, come through early on Sunday. But no moisture to work with, so it should come through dry, keeping us in the sunny skies for Sunday afternoon, but 60s and, uh, for highs and back in the 40s for Sunday morning and Monday morning.